Welcome back, folks. We are here. This is the last game of the night at the 2022 Gold Coast Titans All Schools. I'm pumped up, though. I'll tell you, we've got a bit of a battle out here on Field 1. It's our mixed open match between Mercy College St. Patrick's from Mackay taking on Miami State High School locals. So a really cool game of touch footy. I know these Miami kids quite well. Um, I just went across and had a chat to the coach from the Mercy team, too, Billy Gilbert. He gave me a little bit of info about some of these kids we've seen coming through the system for a wee while. So... Looks like Mercy are going to start with the tap off with the ball at the moment. Boom! Straight into it though, not mucking around. Great there intensity you go. here. check though, sneaks them behind. Got to be careful when you run those tap off defensive plays. If you miss your assignment, they absolutely get them behind you. <coughs> so ball passed off, nice plant and play. Looking to come out. Eden Falcon with the ball at the moment, trying to find a live option. On the short side though, well picked up. So we're going to go back to halfway. The referee wants to call a penalty. The players are like, no, bro, we're back to halfway. There you go. Nice work. So Miami tap off going to be next. So Ethan Mott fresh off a win with the QSST boys team out there in the middle with the blue hat. And he will feature heavily in this game. He'll have a massive impact. Really young team from Miami State High. Only three kids are actually the top age. Rest of the team all here for another two or three years at least. So Motti with the ball at the moment. Digs deep into the seven. Bang. Little play. Open side quickie. Walk over. There you go. Not too easy. And you know... Like when you go through what he went through in the last week, it's not accidental, that kind of stuff. That is planned. He's playing off the back of a QSST win. QSST being the number one Avon boys team in the country. And that guy's just on fire at the moment. You know, so there we go. Motti, easy as you like. Open side. How you doing? See you later. And splitting back to that two girls side. So really interesting I've seen so far. Um, two girls sides generally have been paired up on the far side. So nice to see Miami here with an orthodox, you know, set up. So two girls side, identifying the left hand pass there. Um, but it seems that Mercy, same thing, set up on their far sub box too. So both defensive setups allowing the left hand pass, left hand long ball, giving you the lefty. Mm. See Mercy coming down into the line here, looking for, a, oh, looked like they were going for a 32 long, but they didn't quite get it. No, the half sort of gave up on the play after he checked it. Yeah, yep. Bang. He's last, looking to take the short side. Yeah, nice nothing on there. Up. Nice pick up. So the Miami State High team, coached by Ben Marshall, number two, Ella Brisden, two, Emma Barrett, brother Corey Barrett, came through the Miami program. 16, Bella Thompson. She's part of the Queensland Rugby Sevens program. So we know Miami have had a few great players come out of there through Rugby Sevens as well, the Levi sisters. Number five, Chian McNeil. Number 67, Jordan Warnicky. 10, Will Duncan. 15, Ethan Mock, QSST. 99, Carter North. 18, Charles Martin. 11, Mason Robinson. As we see, Motti going for a pick, going for the short side rain, getting well picked up though. Number 11, Mason Robinson. 6, Kobe Coates. 7, Zeke Buckley. 87, Jake Ingleby. 27, Van McDonald. That is your Miami Mixed High School team. Nice, mates. Here we go. I see Mercy College, St. Pat's. Currently taking the ball down the far sub box side. Easy as you like. Good turnover though. Great midfield pressure. So Miami now have the ball. They're going to go hot onto the attack. Motti with the ball at the moment. Just cruising up the field. Happy to work with Northy. Bang. Quick play. Gets the quickie split. Yay. Referee has a penalty for offside though. So well worked. You're going to see those two come together quite a bit in this matchup here. Carter North and Motti. And look at how wide and deep the attack is. Beautiful. Look at the running lines here. The swinger. Check, check, just finding a bit of space. And the boys just cruising. Bit of a feel out play at the moment. Checking the D. Look at that beautiful lift though by the defender. Nice, here you go. Playing back to the two girls side though. So they're getting the defender they want, which is, you can see here, nice left side, middle link. Uh, middle and link are both raising. Players standing back on the line though. Want to watch that dropping. Boom, winger standing on the line as the touch is made. They just want to be careful there. Oh, got the switch out. Great touch on the back, though. Oh, looks like he could be calling a miss. And there we go. Try awarded. Great honesty there by the Mercy St. Um, St. Pat's player, though, Bailey Caruana. So we see Mercy College, number one, Madeline Doreen. Two, Keeley Pitt. Three, Paige Mooney. Four, Eden Falconer. Five, Elise Harding. Six, Milana Zelgo. Seven, Calvin Brown. Eight, Jackson Purdue. Nine, Ethan Van Kerwick. 10, Jack Clark, the original OG, I've been told. Nice, 11, Bailey Caruana, 12, Zach Keating, and 13, Bailey Venz, as we see. Scores currently two tries to nothing. Five minutes gone in this 18 mixed matchup between Mercy St. Pat's and Miami State High. Miami. Oh, 
Great hands, great hands. So boys just mucking around with it around that 10 meter line. They need to advance the ball down the field and get into a scoring position. And here it goes. So they're going to push out to that far side. Falconer comes in, really comfortable with the ball in hand. Nice, going around the back. I love the little kick out into short side space. Man, really happy with the play. I think if they drag that play five meters over to the right-hand side of the field, it opens up the short side rain for him. So I think if they, you know, as the game progresses, they're looking likely they can run that off the back of a nice subset um, where the defense aren't set and ready to go from a tap off. So nice rucking. We see Miami happy to truck the ball up. Latch, touch taken. Going to push into the middle. There you go. Duncan with the ball now. They've got the short side rain open. Nice spiral pass out to that side. Well picked up. He's got a really nice pass on him, Duncan does. Boom, Goosey coming back to the short side. Man, and getting picked up. Really nice set though by Miami, leaving the ball down on the far try line. It's the second best outcome you could have in a set, which is forcing the opposition to have to go end to end. Boom, nice little touch, and they're just trucking away. Oh yeah, juggle, juggle, good catch though. And here you go, there we go, driving, beautiful call came out of the box, looking to go off this next one, strike dump, hand goes up for five. Player wants to pick and run, well rounded up though, Will Duncan with the touch. So great energy about the Mercy St. Pat's subset and rucking, to see if they can keep that energy up for the next 19 minutes. Oh, unlucky, ball just going to ground, reaching for the pass, unfortunately, couldn't pick it up. Nice bang, there we go. So Mercy gonna get the ball, definitely have great field position. They're gonna dig in and attack the line. Just sort of wiggling around a little bit, Bailey Venz trying to find a a different point of threat, trying to get a defender up. And Miami will post that link and middle up every single time. They run the tight ID defense, made famous throughout the mixed game. Oh yeah, got the touch. Awesome diving touch there. So it's Bella Thompson, like we said, she's in the Queensland 7 girls program. Bang, all oh, caught chasing in though. Short side, oh nice. Golly, really nice little right foot there. Mercy St. Pat's number eight. So Jackson Purdue, an NQ Cyclones player. And just loaded up that right foot, we're going to bang, snapped it out, but the winger was up to the task protecting that short side. Duncan with the ball, just happy to truck away, latch touch taken, boom, just picks it up as they come over halfway, pop out, oh, yeah, and probably Carter just accelerated a little bit before Ethan was ready to take off with him. So sign of things to come though, they're just going to run those pop out flies all day long, it's a sign of the Miami program as well, we saw the 15 girls team out here. Yesterday, and Campbell Phillips, Grace Jacobson, and the girls, Mia Davey, all happy to run those pop-out plays for the entire game. Picking up heaps of tries on that far side wing away from our sub-box side. Nice, so Mercy St. Pat's here, though, bringing the ball in. Gets the plant. Nice little roost to play. Gets around. Tries to throw the ball out. Nice, middle, middle quickie. Six touches, though. Well found. Great turnover. Motti jumped straight on it. Now he's going to peel out and just pick up some extra yards. Nice ball control. That's going to be one there. Carter North, bang for two. And three as they've come to the 10 metre line. So just nice easy punch away. Will Duncan having a wee look. Yeah, nice release, had the numbers, rips over to the wing side. Ah, oh, referee did find a forward pass though. So look likely, went all the way over the top really early. Probably could have found it through the hands though. Hit the link and then let the link play the draw pass. But, there you go. All options were available on that far side anyway, just a pass drifting forward, unfortunately. Mercy St. Pat's though, straight back on the attack. And like I said, the energy that they've been rucking down that far sideline with has been really good, giving them great field position, giving them chances to attack the line. Back, having a little look, boom. And asking questions out of the sub box. So every time they ruck down that sub box at the moment, they're heading towards those three boys. And it's nice to see, so the girls out on this close side of the field not having to do too much work. Boom, there we go. Nice and easy as you like, getting across. Touch one there. Oh, we see players hitting the deck. Must be a slippery patch out there. Bit of black ice. Moddy takes the really simple latch touch and then he'll look to sweep it. Oh no, gonna go, just pick and go straight away. Right to left pass, rips. Bang, footwork, footwork. Getting the ball back, Moddy goes around the corner. Is he gonna flip out that corner zone? Nah, just wheels and deals, there we go. Nice, good work. You know, it's been nice to see the rise of um, Motti and some of the boys in the Southeast Queensland region. He makes himself available for everything at the moment. You know, 20 boys programs, Palmy, Sharks, the whole lot of them 
and then bang, these are those little moments. He just saw a half a space, winger went to man, down that sideline channel, and then had a little reach. So it's really tough as the winger, you know, as soon as you turn your hips out towards your defender, you create a running lane behind you. So the longer you can keep your hips square with your hands out, the harder it is for, in that example there, for Ethan to actually run into that running, running channel. But nice, here we go, three tries to nothing. Miami St. High over Mercy St. Pat's. They have the ball at the moment though, and they are attacking the trial and at the right end of the field. So Bailey looking to work with Jackson here in the middle. Jackson with the ball at the moment, skipping to the side. Finds the link in the touch, bang. Corner's out of there though, and has to play back into a massive shut defense. Boom, ball in hand, let's see her go, because she can run, and she's away. She is going, going. We've got him coming though into the corner. Beautiful chase, lovely try. Man. And a beautiful clean set of heels there by Emma Barrett. Brother there in the sub box, Corey. Telling her, oi, grab the ball, mate. But yeah, what a beautiful intercept. And she took off. No one was catching her. Rips over the top. Boom, caught. Right there. So we see the turn and chase. And that distance there, pretty much the same it is for most of the way down the field. Look at that. Beautiful effort. Really nice dive to score the try at the end. So well done, great reward, reward by the winger for being in nice and tight and holding in that space. So there we go, four tries to nothing, 10 minutes gone in this Miami State High School versus Mercy St. Pat's 18 mixed game. Oh, lots of chat, Eden having a big chat. Hey, hey, get it down, get it down, we gotta play, we gotta play. Boom. And that's it, timing's everything when you've got those strike dumps. Boom, check back, email, gives it. Rip out the back, ooh. So when I say ML, that's a middle link play. Cool, so positions from the outside in. Wingers, both outsides of the field. Links, both in the inside positions and the two middles standing in the middle of the field. So, an ML is a middle link play trying to attack that zone of the field. So nice, let's play, there we go. Picks it up for five. Yeah, Will Duncan looking to go on the fifth. Goosey goes. Oh, just well rounded up though. Nice diving touch there, Bailey Caruana who has represented the North Queensland Cyclones as well in the past. Boom, there we go, nice settling set though. And they're just gonna have to truck it in. Big defense on that far side by Miami, not letting the Mercy College crew get to the sub box. Trying to cut the field off early. Nice little latch touch there, looking to go from five. Bit of footwork to get through, and yeah. More than up to the challenge, happy to dive to make the touch. Nice, and they jump straight back on the ball. Nice centre pass, happy to throw the single skip there to find the winger. Nice catch, looking for the extra, but caught up on the spot anyway. So there we go, Alechi for four, fifth touch is coming. Bang, five, release, Motti on the run. Yep, there we go. And making the ball available there. So good field position, great defensive set there by Mercy College. Coming in, keeping the momentum up though as they're rucking down the field. And just nice ball control really as they're looking for a strike dump here for subs coming out of the box. He's going to take off though and they need a strike dump and still have people entering the field of play. Boom and unfortunately just down to five. Oh, trying to play the ball on the wing channel. Just got excited I think. Hey, saw the runaway before and thought I can do that too was Jordan on the near side wing. So boom, out there to the far side link. You notice with the Miami style of defense, the male back in the pocket doesn't have to do too much work. So when I say the pocket, right now you've got far side winger, hands on hips, you've got the male link for Miami, Motti with the blue hat back in the pocket, and then this near side middle male defender will get up. So those two boys will pop up, as you can see right there, and they leave Ethan in the back to try and cover and save the defense, no matter what happens, and he's able to get there and work hard. Now the boy nearest to me is the point defender. He's going to work his butt off in this set. Oh, Motti takes the lead though. Happy to kill a touch. And there you go. Boom. Back to that left to right pass. So we see the three save defenders all locking in. Getting around the person who made the touch. Same again. Bang. Gets around the person who made the touch. And then they can all step forward safe as houses. This is part of the corner shot defense that was developed in 1995 in Hawaii. We know from the famous game, the Men's Open Aussie versus New Zealand. And it still exists in the game today. There are just different versions of what it looks like. But ultimately, at the end of the day, I make a touch and I protect my corner and I leave the open side of the field for my friends to help me out with. And that was a really nice display by Miami there. 
Brooms, here they go. Pass is going around the back. And then the engine starts to go off the mark, though, unfortunately. And all the players have bailed. And that's the one time you see a really clever interchange. So most of the time they leave the ball on the ground. We saw the players bail off the field, and Ethan just sort of grabbed the ball then. Time management, we call it, in the game. And you just sort of manage that interchange. So Mercy couldn't jump on the ball straight away. Well, referee has a ball down in the ruck, though, just as Mercy had really good field position. And here they go. So they'll take one in, and then they'll look to come across to the sub box side. Boom. Oh, going to stay strong. So a little bit arrows play now. The boys must be feeling fit and fresh. Boom, happy to pump away for four. Here you go. Ball will go down. Will Duncan looking to come out of dummy half. Ping, off he goes. Rips to the winger. Oh, pop in. Yeah, well defended though. Love the defense. Yep, so Eden getting all the way over here to this near side of the field. And well defended. She's done a mountain of work for her team so far. Really comfortable out there in this team. And looks like a bit of a leader, the way she works her players around the field. Nice. Eden Falconer, lucky enough to meet her as part of the Queensland Touch Youth Academy. Um, came through the Cowboys program as well. Oh, I hear stay from the coach, Billy, yelling out to his defender. She wanted to get out of there. But here we go. So six touches now on the line. Let's see what they can come up with. Duncan with the ball at the moment. Trying to work back inside. Zeke giving him the ball back. Oh, ball back to Zeke. Don't think he was ready for it, though. So Zeke just getting a little bit caught out with the extra pass. Duncan throwing the no-looker. Oh, there we go. Nice, and just a little bit of downtime there for the ball. So they want to clean that one up. Ball's on the ground, as you can see. The dummy half's not standing on top of it. Same thing. Boom. Yeah, lucky for the overrun. Because the defense looks set and they could have killed. Boom, fourth. So five is coming. Going to drive the ball in nice and hard. Jackson looking to pick out a dummy half. Yeah, they thought it was six touch there. And they're going to find a try. Boom, there we go. So player standing back on halfway saying that was the six touch. But nice try, well read, good setup. And he was always looking to go, Jackson was, checking the ball back. Boom, scoops through straight away. And beautiful pass there out, left to right, finds the winger on the far side. And a nicely worked try. So well done, Mercy, there we go. So they can get over the line, eight minutes still left in this ball game. Scores currently four tries to one. Miami State High over Mercy St. Pat's in the 18 mixed battle. So no surprise to see Moddy and North back out there together. Ball gets passed out. We've got a sweeper play. Checks it out. Wants to run the little follow. And a hand goes out. Big touch of the ball. Nice. The boys working out there with Kobe Coates. In this near side link you can see in the six. So North with the ball at the moment. Moddy switches in Coates. Coates takes the hit for an ML. Checks him here. Digs in at the line. Has a little look. Ooh. Yep. Referee calls it back to one. So a repeat set. There we go. So nice call coming out of the box from coach Benny Marshall. Calling for just a nice wee step back play. Let's have a wee look. Boom, gets him, step back. Oi, there you go. That's what he's looking at. Just seeing if that defender's ready to go. Same again, Moddy with the ball. Coates into dummy half. North looking to go around the back. Back to Moddy, Wax City. Players offside, no referees happy with the touch. So they have it a cruise back. They've got the game under control. Boom. Quick play. Quickie comes back. Yep. Left to right. Finds. Oh. oh. And Moddy with the hands on the head. So there we go. Nicely defended set there by Mercy St. Pat's. And they're just going to punch away down that fast sideline. But if you have a look, all of the Miami players are over there. So beautiful work by the winger there. She's standing pretty much in the middle of the field and there's nothing out here for 25 metres. No players, no body. Nice extra pass though, but all the defenders are in front of the ball. So there's no space there for those little pop-out plays we've seen all day. Nice, there we go. Just bringing across this near side sub box. Really nice push up by Eden. Catches everybody behind the advantage line. Nice touch. And she's going to put pressure on again. But Will goes to the other side of the field for a wee settler. So that's going to be four. Fifth touch is coming. Looking for the strike dump now. Boom, big plant. Duncan rips. That's a monster of a ball. Golly. 
I was going to say, you almost want to jump into the air like Xavier Coates to get on the back of that one. Tell you, some of the balls these kids can throw these days, I mean, that's looking at, gee, 25, 30 metres, that last pass. Saw Jai Charlton chuck a pass the other day, and I can't kick that far. Well, it looked like it was 40 metres, one side of the field to the other. It was unbelievable. So, bang, there we go. Yeah, really nice lift on the far side, though, just to cut the field off. Causing a bit of trouble, nothing too crazy. Nice, nice. And a little bit of footwork, just getting in behind. Yeah, yeah. Great defense, though. So, sees the turnover, about 20 meters off the Miami line. 25, actually, just in front of the 10. There you go. Easy little square up, getting the ball across to the near side. And they're just going to hum away. Happy to concede the touch. Boom, another one here. Happy to concede the touch. Not looking for anything extra. They're really safe in their process at the moment. Oh, yeah. Penalty found there for offside. And there you go. So, just cruising for, through the field. Might have been a half space on the outside, but they're not interested. Thompson has a wee dance, you can hear Bella Bella, give us the ball, give us a crack. Safe as houses. Going to push into the try line now, so North, currently looking to work. There he goes, Moddy around the back. Check, check, oi. Yeah, body's slipping over, no real room over there. So same thing, let's see what they can manipulate on this near side. Boom, ball goes out, squared up into the line. Oh, beauty. Yeah, that's mate, Carter. That was fast as you like. Nice Carter coming from really good touch pedigree from the North family. Seen his sister and brother both play at a high level representing South Queensland Sharks. Really nice to see though. And he just goes dummy, whack, and dives in at the line. Beautiful. Beautiful piece of touch footy skill there. And it's a skill that you don't see in any of the other oval ball games. So we're not slide diving for tries in league or rugby. You'd get your shoulder broken and your collar blown all ripped out. Um, Oztag and TRL, they're not allowed to dive at the line like that. So they've got to dive in, you know, different diving rules with the body. So that's an absolute touch footy skill, those slide dives. And the kids that do them, do them well. Boom, there we go. Oh, and just walks over on the short side. Golly, didn't like there was any touch made there. Jackson Purdue, Cyclone representative, just dancing left foot, right foot, bang, comes back off the right to the short side and sneaks in behind. So we see defender there, pulls a touch, pulls square, turns in. As soon as you turn in, you are done if you're not coming forward. So you've got to hit the line, come forward first before you turn your hips in. Then you're safe, your sabers can help you out. Yeah, nice work there though, good play. So just over two and a half minutes left in this matchup. Miami in control at the moment with the ball. Awesome, oh yeah, wheels, having a wee look. Yeah, dancing, dancing, Duncan with a flick out the back of the hand. Oh, and the switch, let's go Bella, rip. Oh yeah, I thought you were going to find Duncan around the back. Yeah, nice, good work. So, nice defensive setup though, they found a little bit of space there on the short. Picks up a dummy, nice discipline to get the ball down. There he goes, try scorer Jackson. And here they go, they come out the back on halfway. Duncan's got a one on one and well supported by his mate though. There you go, defense when we lift in twos, everything's possible. Gonna drop it back in. So fifth touch here, looking to play out of half. They've got a dead start. Goosey goosey whack and brings it out to Eden's side. Why don't we wrap on? Yeah, and both players going to man, so well defended. With 90 seconds left in this matchup, let's see what Miami can string together. Just gonna see this really nice process. They're not in a hurry. Boom, good ball control. Bang, and then she just reaches out, makes the touch. Moddy down the side for a sneaky, there it is. You saw him lining it up early on. That was really early. You saw him just hanging out there out of the box. And we've seen a bunch of these today, saw like a hundred of them last week at the NYC. And all it is is like, it shows that all the channels are available on the touch field. Seven spaces for us to run into and score tries. And why do we wait until the fifth touch in the middle of the field to score them? And we've just seen players manipulate this all over the park now. And it doesn't even have to be off a sneaky, which is a specific play off a latch. They're just standing in the wing channel, waiting until the winger bites on a toucher. And then they just check the ball down the sideline. So really nice play. So scores out six tries to two, Miami State High School. 40 seconds left in this matchup. 
Mercy St. Pat's are just going on to keep the ball in hand or score a try here. Nothing too crazy at all. Nice, there we go. Last play. Pudu goes over the top with a biggie. Great hands, one on one. Oh, diving touch there on the inside though. Beautiful. Yeah, that's an awesome touch there to round the game out. And it was that diving through there. Full stretch. Oh, bang. There we go, though. We hear the final hooter. Look at this. Oh, great touch. That was awesome. Great touch. That's a great replay there to finish the game off.